Sweemar! Huh? Is that a call for a pig? Or is that a high performance audio sweep generator for testing amplifiers? Oh yeah, so there she went. Alright, so I'm sure you called it. Yes, it is an audio sweep generator used on end of line testers for high quality audio amplifiers. And it's also used in vibration labs for running equipment to break parts. In this case, I'm using it to sweep audio on an amplifier. Let me show you how this thing works. So here it is, the Leader LSW-115 Audio Sweemar Generator. These are very hard to find pieces of equipment. They are very expensive in the day, very useful for testing audio amplifiers, and they're not as expensive as going out and picking up like an HP Spectrum Analyzer to do the job. So let me show you some of the features of this thing. So what you do is you set this thing up for a sweep. In this case, we're going to go from 20 hertz to 30 kilohertz. Over here is where you set your level. And I've got this thing set up right now for approximately 200 millivolts output into this guitar amp. And the output is monitored on a standard oscilloscope. In this case, an old Iwatsu 5702. So you have to put your scope in the XY function, and that is for the time channel coming off the SWIMAR. And then up here, you use channel 1 for your vertical input. These signals come off of the SWIMAR after it performs a sweep. So what you do is we're using channel 1, and that is actually connected to the output of the amplifier. Channel 2 is actually monitoring the signal coming off the SWIMAR which should be a perfect 20 to 30 kilohertz signal, okay? So it gives you a direct comparison of what you're sending in to what you're getting out of the amp. And then you just monitor it on the scope. So let's do a sweep. This is the output of the amplifier. For this test, I have a dummy load. I'm using a times 10 probe that goes to the scope. And of course, the input goes to the front of the amp like any other signal would, such as from your guitar. To start your sweep, after you've set your output level, you set your speed and you hit start. And so here we go. The amp is powered up. SWIMAR is ready to go. I killed the lights so you can see this a little bit better. So simply all you have to do is come down here and hit the start button. Okay, I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to pan over to the scope. So here we go. So there's our trace. Zoom in a little bit here. Alright, so the upper trace is from 20 hertz. She goes up and over to 30 kilohertz and it stops. This bottom trace is the actual feedback from the amp coming off the speaker. So you can see at the low frequencies, she kind of gets up there, tries to flatten out, a little bit of high frequency response, and she dives off. So obviously there's no scale on this thing. You can take and get yourself a nice little grid to put on here and you could actually calibrate these squares to be certain frequency ranges, okay? I have not done that, but this is just a representation of the frequency response from 20 hertz to 30k. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the treble, we're going to go all the way up and let's do another sweep. Okay. So you can see we got a little more of a peak here, but we still fall off when we get, say, 25 kilohertz or so. She nosedives, all right? Now I'm going to take the treble all the way back. So that should flatten out this high frequency response and hopefully enhance the bass. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So there she went. So as you can see, the tone control on this thing is working well. Now this amp that I'm testing is a single-ended 6AQ5 amp with a 12AX7 for the preamp. Alright, another cool feature of the SWIMAR is you can actually slow down your sweep time. It still sweeps the same frequency, but much slower. So we'll go back to the scope, I'm going to hit start, and you can watch that. Let me zoom in, and we'll run the sweep. Here we go.
so much slower, but you see it didn't affect the trace. And the reason they do this is the output of the SWIMAR has outputs for X and Y of a plotter. So you can actually plot this with an old pen type chart recorder if you'd like and get some cool printouts. But I don't use that, I just use the scope. All right, so for the fun of it, now I have connected a speaker so you can actually hear the sweep. And we'll go with that slow range and then I'll speed it up. Here we go. All right, let's do the fast sweep. Let's go a little faster. Wham! Pretty cool, huh? You could probably use that for Halloween. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this little demo of the Leader LSW115 SWIMAR generator. If you're ever lucky enough to find one and you don't want to use a scope, they actually have a monitor that was made for it. It's called like the LBO115 and had a big screen and had a chart on it that was calibrated for the frequency. And there's actually marker frequency adjustments on the side of this thing where you can calibrate it in. I just haven't been able to find one. So I just use a scope, which is good enough for visual, okay? But you can always get it better, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll do some more sweeps in the future. We'll see you.